Hi, welcome back to This Mama Loves. And <clears throat> my name is Lori. I am on a weight loss journey. And I am using the WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers program, um, to, you know, to lose weight. <laughs> I am on the blue plan. I get 23 points a day on the blue pan plan. However, this, well, the past year has not been the best year for me. Um, it's been high level stress and, you know, with all that's going on, all the changes, plans that I had that did not happen because of, you know, what's going out on. <laughs> um... So, I thought this year, I was like, okay, I have a plan of action. Let's try to get back on track. 100% um, did not happen. Let's see if I can set this up on this wayward makeshift thing. Give me a second here. I don't know if I can do it. Or if you, you're going to topple over. <laughs> if you topple over, I'm so sorry. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, so I fell. I slipped and fell last week, Monday. Um, taking my daughter to the bus stop, my oldest girl. And I very badly injured my shoulder. Um, I think I injured my rotary cuff. No, I did not go to the doctor, even though my husband very much thought I should have, but I didn't. Um, it was so bad that my arm was very stiff. It was in a lot of pain, um, but I had movement. I, my husband didn't see any bruising on my arm or anything like that, and but I could not lift my arm at all. And like right now, I can I can go here. It hurts. A lot um, actually it hurts more today than it had in the last couple of days but I think because I took the dog out and she jerked the leash and I, it jerked my arm but like I this is like as high as I can go like this <laughs> it's a mess <laughs> um, but with that I had little to no movement the past week um, I'm drinking my coffee did I say today was going to be a what I eat in a day? <laughs> Actually, let me check my toast. I want to make sure I'm not burning it. <laughs> one second, one second. Okay, I'm not burning it. I'm not burning it. Okay. So, um, anyways. I feel like the camera is uh, lopsided. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You have no idea how makeshift this is right now. <laughs> Okay, so, um, getting back to what I was saying. So, this year just hasn't been my year. Um, for the past year, I've fluctuated between one to five points. Pound, wow, pounds. No, not one to five. About one to three pounds I've fluctuated throughout this past year. Um, gain and losing, gain and losing. So I never really left a particular, you know, my, what I got to as my loss, which is not much. I've lost, had lost a total of 22 pounds on Weight Watchers. And then when everything hit, that was like a standstill. Um, I am very much a stress eater. I'm a bored eater, <laughs> you know, things like that. So, um, some of the things I know that help me is to not have the foods that are triggers for me to to overindulge in in the house. However, with the past year going on and I've indulged in the girls and so doing, been setting myself up to fail. So, um, I have, 
I'm kind of rethinking how I do snack for them right now anyways but um they're a lot more active than I am you know so yeah anyways this past week this past two weeks have really been hard for me and I gained five pounds over the last two weeks and including this past week because like I said I was less than active not like I was very active before but I was even less so <laughs> so what I decided to do is I'm I'm part of my stress is the losing weight let me check my toes again okay. so yeah <laughs> part of my stress is the actual losing weight um, some other stresses I had actually have been alleviated um, something that my husband and I have been working on for the past two years almost dealing with rather <laughs> has been taken care of and that's one thing off our plate that we're so happy about um, it's personal so I'm not going to get into that but um, I'm so tired also with the stress this past year I indulge in a nightcap um, almost every night and helps me sleep. Um, but here's the thing, like, I know that, you know, alcohol helps put on weight, but if I'm within a certain point range or whatever, I can still see some weight loss. It's a very slow weight loss, like a few ounces here, a few ounces there, you know, less than a pound, but it still was something gradual that I was fine with as long as it was going in the right direction. Um, so what really got me last week was that, um, cause our recent, one of our big stressors was alleviated last week. And with my injury and everything, I had not been having nightcaps. Um, I've been going to bed early uh, because I um, was taking medicine for it. Um, so, and it made me very tired. And to see the scale just go up anyway. I mean, I was staying within my point range. Um, I mean, I you know, I had my weekend of eat all the weeklies, <laughs> you know, like I do every weekend. But I was, there were times when I was under my points for the day, you know, so I had rollovers, all of that, which usually I would see some loss and it was not happening. And it was just so discouraging to me that what I decided to do is go into maintenance. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I sent my my um for my breakfast <laughs> so that's what i decided to do um i'm on maintenance now and one moment my toast out because I don't want it to burn and it's done. Uh. All right. So yeah, so I'm in maintenance right now, and um, so on maintenance, I get 28 points a day, um, which also alleviates the stress of eating. What am I going to eat that's within this budget? What I've been doing is, like last week, I was doing a lot of zero point no more than one point breakfasts, which usually that's kind of where I go anyway. Occasionally I'll have, you know, more of that depending upon what bread I want or if I want hash browns, like the hash brown patties, you know. And 
um, uh, I'll try to have a low point lunch or maybe lunch might be a higher point but dinner will be low point and it's just like just always like thinking, okay, okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Now, it's crazy to me how my mind works because it's really only five additional points, but it seems like a treasure trove to me. Like, oh my gosh, I can have this and I can have this and I can dip into this or whatever. So, um, anyways, <laughs> I am gonna stay on maintenance for at least two weeks. Um, and maybe hopefully this will give my my system a reset when I go back into weight loss mode sometimes that can be a thing um, it has been a thing for me in the past sometimes um, but I'm going to stay on maintenance for at least two weeks and see where I'm at there and I will gauge but this just even just stressing about the losing the weight is just too much for me <laughs> it, it really is so um, I'm working with 28 points today and I'm gonna show you what I'm making for breakfast and we'll go from there all right so here is my breakfast I have a fried egg on top of toast this is the Trader Joe's their San Francisco um, sourdough bread so one slice, typically, even at its largest size, I found that it's three points for the largest. Um, in the tracker, if you scan it, it goes by slice. Do not do that because there are big slices and small slices, and there are some small slices that are two points. Um, but, and I think they're one slice, they count as four points. So I input it by grams so this is 50 was 53 grams is three points and you can have up to 56 7 8 something like that which is four not up to but once you get up to that number it'll go into four points um, the egg is zero points and the bacon is one point so what I do is I cut before I freeze my bacon I cut the package in half down the middle and um, so this allows me to have half slices without having to always cut it half slices, you know. Um, and <clears throat> so I use the Myers brand, so it's the store brand, their um, center cut bacon. And you can have up to two and a half slices for one point. Um, so this is two and a half slices. So it's five pieces you can see so that's one point so this is a four point breakfast i had my coffee which i did not track i'm, I'm debating i think I'm, maybe i might start tracking i don't know we'll see after this week i'll decide then but um i'm almost done with my coffee actually so this is a new um insulated cup that i got it's by e elo so they were on sale at meyer this week so i decided to get two i got this one and then i got uh, i'm using my bat on but i'm trying to use it more you know and then i got this one which is 22 ounces i think this is yeah so this is 22 ounces so i got this one because i have my big big one which one has proven very difficult to lift because I typically, I don't know why, but I always use my left hand, I guess, when I'm drinking my water. And um, it's proven very difficult to lift with the injury. Um, plus, this one allows me to put in the cup holder in the car. So I mainly got it for travel, but I love it. So, you know, you have the little button thing and there's a straw in there. So I can just sip as opposed to uh, hold it back, which is what my biggest issue was trying to drink with the injury. Now here, I just discovered this yesterday, and I got this, I think, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, I just got it Saturday, but I discovered this, and <laughs> this is a little switch. And what this does is, here, you the flow of the liquid that you are drinking through the straw, 
is free flowing, you know, no impediment. And when you go to here, it makes it a little, uh, you got to use a little bit more force, I guess. I don't know how to describe it to drink your liquid. And I was telling my husband, I was like, why would I want to do that? He yeah. said, probably after running or exercising and you're winded and so that you won't drink too fast, you can yeah. put it here, you know, so that you won't risk drinking too quickly. Um, and I was like, oh, that's a pretty nifty idea. So I have my water. I have my coffee because I think it's about done. Mm -hmm. It's about done. It's only like a little, little, little left. I'm trying to see how. And okay, so this one is 20 ounces and this is 22. Okay, so both were on sale. They were 15% off um, our Meyer last week. I don't know if the sale is still going. So, okay, that's that. So here's my breakfast for four points. Okay, so I'm going to have a quick snack. I know the lighting is whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna have um, an icy, you know where I grew up at, we call them icies, <laughs> popsicle. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> well, let's not do it. All right, let's, let's try that again. Okay, so I'm gonna have one of these. It's purple cow um, popsicles. Oh, my uh, yeah, I'm using the bad arm because we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta use it <laughs> so it gets better. But yes, so I'm gonna have one. It is two points for one. Um, when you enter it into the tracker or scan it. You know, some already put the points in for it for one popsicle, but a serving size is three. Um, but I'm only having one, so one is two points. And I just felt like something cool and sweet, like refreshing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have this while I wait for Isabel to finish up her phonics lesson and then she's gonna sit and eat lunch i am not really hungry at breakfast filled me up i'm kind of amazed i mean i had late breakfast it was like 10 30 but um or close to 11 it's 1 17 now and i'm not hungry so i'm just gonna have this now and i will not have time to make lunch before i get deanna off the bus stop off the bus stop from the school bus so, I don't know. Am I going to have lunch? I know what I want. We'll see how I feel um, after I pick her up. So, what I'll probably do is have a late lunch. <sighs> I don't want a late dinner. Not too late. Or I might adjust what I'm going to have for dinner. I think I'll do that so that it's not as big. Um, as I was planning. So, pretty full right now. Um, so I'm just going to have this for now. And after I get Deanna, I'll see where I'm at. <laughs> I have about an hour-ish. About an hour-ish. Yeah. So, we'll see where I'm at. Okay, so we're back on our very precarious perch. <laughs> oh, look, I did an alliteration. So, as I mentioned when I had my snack. I'm not particularly hungry. It is about half hour later, well, about 40 minutes later. I have to get Deanna in a few minutes, but I think I will have, I feel like I'll probably be hungry in the next half hour, hour. So what I decided to do was prep um, some of what I'm making for lunch. One of which is like, Pickled cucumbers, I guess you can say. So this is um, actually something I make when I make my Vietnamese-inspired uh, vermicelli. It's a cold noodle dish. And 
Um, I say inspired because I don't know that I necessarily have it down. Um, how a authentic Vietnamese recipe might be. So I don't want to claim it to be authentic or anything like that. But it definitely has the flavors. The first time I ever had the pole noodle dish um, was back when I lived in New York. Um, and there was this Vietnamese restaurant downtown Brooklyn, right across the street from the courts, which is where my... Um, okay, sorry about that. Um, Isabel just finished her work for now. It's almost time to get Deanne in a few minutes. So figured while she did that too, I should get my socks and shoes on. <laughs> anyway, so this, there was a Vietnamese restaurant downtown Brooklyn. It was across the street from my mom's job. She worked in the court. And at the time I was going to college, which was right across the street from the restaurant. So, and my mom and I would meet up there for lunch. Really good. And more often than not, I would get their lemongrass chicken with vermicelli, which was a cold dish, so good. And it would have pickled carrot and cucumber and the dressing for the dish was really good. And they have since closed, since I moved away, they've closed, which I was sad about when I went to go visit. But when I started looking up Asian inspired dishes, because I'll be honest, that's like one of my favorite things, Asian dishes, not just, but top. Um, and not just like Chinese, that's why I'm saying Asian. Um, I like those kinds of dishes. I like those flavor palettes. Um, so when I saw some recipes on like this vermicelli dish, the uh, dressing was pretty similar. Um, the recipes were all fairly similar. So I've worked off of that, tweaked my measurements to my taste, my liking. And I think I finally found my, the proportions I really, really like. So eventually, next time I make that dish, I think I'll record the recipe. So you can see how I do it. Um, I tend to use different proteins, although I've never made it with shrimp before. Hmm. But I usually I do pork or chicken. And um, I do, oh. my alarm went off. <laughs> Let me know to start getting ready to get Deanna. But usually I use chicken or pork and it might be lemongrass based, it might be, um, like hoisin sauce base, uh, the chicken or the pork. But for today, I'm not having any of that for lunch, but I did want to, those like the pickled cucumber that go with my lunch since it's going to be an Asian inspired lunch. So I made a small batch of how I would typically make the dressing. I made a small batch so I, in here, and then I just sliced up some, you can see I kind of, what do you call it, julienne. <laughs> some cucumbers to put in here. And I'm gonna stick this in the fridge because I love them cold too. And you don't need salt for this because it is a fish sauce based dressing. I don't wanna call it dressing though, like they don't call it dressing, I don't know. But anyways, the sauce is, it's fish sauce based. And you can see I have about like this much left. This is my favorite fish sauce, um, and I get it from the Asian market, and because I'm running low, because I do use this quite a bit, <laughs> last time I went to the market, I bought a whole new bottle, <laughs> and this is a Vietnamese fish sauce, so there's different, there's Thai, there's different kinds, but I like this one best, and, um, and this has vinegar and lemon juice, not lemon, sorry, lime juice, and um, some garlic and I added just a little bit of this and this is what has points the rest of the stuff pretty much is zero points because like this has some calories but it's 15 for 15 milliliters which you know that's still going to be zero points for that 
So this one would have points because of the sugar and the calories, but I use like half a tablespoon, which I want to say half a tablespoon is one point, but I'm not counting it. And <laughs> the reason why is I'm just pickling this, so I'm not using the sauce pretty much, the the juice. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I'm not using that part, I'm not counting the points for it. So that's going to be zero points. So this I'm counting as zero points because I'm just pickling like in the, I don't even want to call it brine because it's not just a brine, but, and when they pickle, I think they just do fish sauce and this, or maybe vinegar, water, and, and oh, and there's water in here too, um, and sugar. And if I use, I because I cut sugar, like using sugar, not sugar and stuff, you know what I mean? I use Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. And I like to put the expiration dates on here since I get rid of the packaging. Um, I used this as my sugar substitute. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and then I'm going to get ready to pick up Deanna. And then if I decide to have lunch, I will. I'll have lunch. So when I come back for lunch, I will let you know. So that's that. All right. So it is after three <laughs> so definitely having a late lunch here um this is a four point lunch so i have a mix of okay so i have a mix of um uh baby goes mini wontons so i have about four pork wontons and six chicken wontons so the pork for four is two points. For the chicken, you can have six for two points. Um, I have a little bit left of the pork ones left. Um, and I have bought a, a new bag for the chicken. The chicken, you get more for the same amount of points, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> clearly. So what I did was I have my pickled cucumbers here. I made a dipping sauce, which I don't know if I'll dip or just, I might just pour it all over on the top. And I also made, not made, I <laughs> got some lettuce here. And I was thinking of doing like a lettuce wrap, wrapping it in lettuce. I've never tried it before, but I'm going to give it a try, see if I like it. Um, the dipping sauce at this point is zero points. Um, if I added a little more of the tempura sauce, it would be one point. You can have a tablespoon for one point. Um, but I just, I mixed up some flavors that I have. So it's like a tempura sauce. A little splash of ponzu dipping sauce, a little splash of Chinese black vinegar, uh, a one fourth table no one fourth teaspoon of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, splash of lime juice, and a splash of um, soy sauce. So that's what I have in here. Um, so this is a four point lunch. <laughs> so really good with the lettuce wrap it like a you know just like a wrap um i took the wonton wrapped it in uh, lettuce leaf very nice add some fresh uh crunch um i'm not big on some of the things that you would put in some asian dishes that would add crunch like uh water chestnuts things like that but because a nice little fresh flavor um, I just wrapped it, dipped it in the sauce. Um, really good. I forgot to share my drink. So I am having soda. So I'm going to have this Cherry Coke Zero for zero points. I'm going to just pour it in this glass of ice I have here. That's going to be my drink for zero points. Still have my water. Um, it's about half done. Um, so, yeah. Very good. These, I think next time if I do this for lunch, knowing, because I knew what I wanted last night, yesterday, I knew I was going to have for lunch today, I would do this overnight. Um, it's still kind of pickled, but it gets, you would get more, I feel like, you know, obviously the longer it stays. Um, so, but it's still very good. Okay, just wanted to share, um, definitely would do this again with the lettuce, and this is green leaf lettuce that I have here. So good. Okay, so I thought I would 
do a little taste test in the mean in between here so i have some things I've not tried before i'm interested in trying so one of them is these so i got these from the supermarket and they are red lentil yeah mainly red lentils also has rice but mainly red lentils sour cream and onion i think it's supposed to mimic like uh onion rings like uh, funyun um where i grew up we had the brand wise wise potato chips and they had onion rings and i think they were just called onion rings and i used to love those funyuns are good too Back in the day, if I remember correctly, I used to like the onion rings better than the Funyuns. But this is the Harvest Snaps brand. And I tried their, uh, was it the peas? And I wasn't a fan. It tasted blah and bland, whatever. My One of my good friends back when we lived in Indiana, she loved them. And they've since had, like, a variety of other flavors. Unless they did already have them. I don't know. But she used to just eat the regular ones. So I wanted to get to try. This is not pea, like the peas, like the other ones. Um, I think they're supposed to be sugar snap peas, maybe? Snow pea? I think sugar snap pea base. I don't know. Anyways, this is red lentil base. So I'm going to give this a try. Because if I like it, I'm interested in trying their... What is it? There's like a sweet chili or something like that flavor. So here's what it looks like. Much smaller than a Funyun. See, hand-wise, you can see what it looks like. You can see, um, like, oh, who's, are you going to focus? It's hard for me to lift that hand. <laughs> like that. So you can see the flavoring. Smell wise, there's so you know what? I'm gonna try a little itty bitty bitty piece that's already like broken. Let's see. Hmm. Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> I think I will try their sweet chili ones. That's not bad at all. So let's see point. Oh, I can't see point wise because I'm using my phone but here's what here's what the um what do you call it macros look like try to get it a little closer so you can see so you can see the serving size not bad what for some reason i'm tasting like a the back end of like butter or some kind of buttery. I don't know what it is. Sour cream and onion seasoning. Buttermilk solids. I don't know. Not a bad taste. The texture. I mean, it's not. It's not your onion, you know. But the texture is not bad. It's not off pudding. So, yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna try the spicy one. Okay, so now I don't remember, I don't think I've tried this one the sweet chili quest chips, the spicy sweet chili. Maybe I did try it, before. I can't remember. But if I did, then we're gonna act like we didn't do it before because I don't remember it. So, here's what it looks like. And now, quest chips have like a they have a protein taste to me, but <clears throat> that powder hit the back of my throat. It tastes, it literally tastes like the season is just like on top of the chip. It's okay. It's not bad. It's okay. I don't know if I would get that one again. So, well, let's do this one first. So, I tried this before, and then I had the, um, what was it, honey mustard, and I really like that one. So, I got Korean barbecue flavor to try. Just, 
Okay. And that honey mustard really tastes like honey mustard. Why does this look bigger than my instinct, natural instinct is to hold this one up to, and I can't lift it that much. It hurts. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. You can see the flavoring on top. I'm just break a piece off. Mm -mm. First of all, I don't know why it looks different than the honey barbecue. It's weird. Like, okay. Let's try another piece. It's it's real spicy. But flavor wise, I don't know. I don't think I like it. It's like you chew it initially and there's one flavor. And then on the back end of that is a whole nother flavor. Before I try this one. I'm gonna rinse out my mouth was that it almost tastes bland at first and then you start to get some kind of flavor bizarre okay so then now I saw that they had like puffs ones now these oh and they're plant-based so this is green peas and navy beans and brown rice and then this one is yellow lentil, green peas, and brown rice. And this um, is caramelized onions. These are puffs. So I was curious. I got these um, with the exception of this. This I got from the grocery store. I got it from Meyer. The, the rest of these I got from the vitamin shop. There's like a little thing here where it's like... Open here, like supposed to be a little slit, but you are one dysfunctional slit. <laughs> so, help it out. Alright, so this is a puff. And it kind of looks like the pirate, oh gosh, pirate booty or the, yeah, ignore the nail polish. I took it off today, kind of peeled it off. Um... Kind of like Pirate Booty, kind of like uh, the Trader Joe's Puffs thingy. Um, let's give it a try. I don't know. It smells almost like nothing. So it's supposed to be caramelized. Caramelized, how do you say it? I say caramelized uh, onion. This is actually pretty good. I definitely get that again. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna try is this Alani New Bar, and it is the cookies and cream, and it's a, a new flavor. So, I thought I heard him pull up. I was about to say, you get a little early. But again, let me even tell my mouth first. nail threatening to break <laughs> all right so so here's uh, here's what the outside looks like see how thick it is so i'm gonna take a bite Okay, so let's see what inside looks like here. I'm gonna try. Oh, not too high. That's what inside looks like. So you can see like the creamy part, which has a good flavor to it. Um, and you see it has the little chocolate bits, like the chocolate cake one. I'm trying to see if I taste the protein taste. 
I'm not really getting a protein taste. If there is, it's slight. So, I'm going to say... Now, I tried the munchies one, which I did like, but I think I had liked the chocolate cake a little better. I'm going to say, I feel like this is up there with the chocolate cake. So, again, like, as you can see, inside looks like. So, you can see the cream. And it does give it a cookies and cream feel. Cookies and cream vibe. I think I saw someone review it and said that it, um, it, they didn't really notice a cookies and cream thing really, and it tasted kind of like the chocolate cake one, which they like the chocolate cake anyway, but I'm going to say it, there's a difference. Maybe if, it, I think it was dependent upon if you ask me, because it doesn't look like this is going to be out, so it looks like there's a strip down the middle of the cream um, and then like a little bit like if you look inside where the chocolate coating is it looks like there's a little in that as well so I, I taste the difference between the chocolate cake and the cookies and cream I like this hope this is a permanent one um, I, I like this too there's not a huge flavor to this I wish I could tell you what the points were but I don't know what it is right now I want to say four or five points I'm not sure um, the flavor is good but if this is like four or five points I would say go for the pirate booty or the Trader Joe's um, one the puffs because you get more for your point value if that's how much this is wait you know what you know what we're gonna do i'm gonna look it up we're gonna go to the weight watchers website <laughs> and look it up i'll just go on my candle Okay. What? Like, I hate when it does that. I typed in one whole thing and it said, no, this is what you meant to type. No, it's not. I meant to type what I typed. <sighs> Man. Wanna tell me what I meant to type? Okay, so this is I1. I the only thing is I wish I could scan on my Kindle. <laughs> I1 Puff. Why is that not on here? Okay. Mm. Okay, so the sticks are three points. Wait, oh, that's the one point five ounces. Like bag is one and a half ounces. Oh, mm. how? Oh, okay. So this is five points for this. I'm gonna say then this is five points too because the macros are the same. Let's do in grams just to make sure. So one bag is 42 grams. Five points. Okay, so each bag is five points. I'm gonna say better off. I mean, okay, if you are 
concerned about the ingredients, then this is, you can go to this. But I am not that concerned about the ingredients. <laughs> I'm really not. So I'm gonna say, I'm going for Pirate Booty because I can get more. Because I think if you get the snack bags, like the individual bags, um, I think it's like two points for one bag. And I can have like two and a half cups of the Trader Joe's one. For like four points, four or five points, something like that. Like, I get more. So, okay. Well, that's the taste test. Okay, so I had dinner and um, I want to say dinner was eight points. <laughs> I took a picture, so hopefully I remember to insert it here somewhere. And it was a hamburger wrap and um, I added a fried egg to it really good. Um, no, seven points? I don't know. I gotta go. I gotta check. Um, because also one of the things I was going to put in it, I didn't. So I was going to make bacon to make a bacon cheeseburger wrap, but I decided not to add bacon. I had bacon for breakfast and, ah, so, um, dinner was seven, eight-ish points. So I'm going to have this fudge bar. Um, I don't know why it looks like it has frost. Was it freezer burn? Not frostbite. <laughs> freezer burn. Because I've only had it for like a few weeks. Um, so anyways, I'm going to have this. So this is the Briar's Carb Smart Fudge Bar. It's three points for the one bar. So I'm going to have this. I am going to watch a little TV and... We'll see. If I have time, I'll take a nice relaxing bath. I don't know because it's my turn to read to Isabel tonight. And um, Corey's watching Inuyasha with the girls. Um, they watch every night. That's like their time together. And it's also my time for quiet, for peace. At least peace of mind. <laughs> so, and they're in there playing with the dog. And she's, I don't know if you can hear it, she's playing with her ball which has a squeaker she loves squeaker stuff and drives me crazy though but whatever so i'm gonna have this three points and if i have something else oh, i'm a little tired if i have something else i'll let you know hi so it's the next day and um i thought i would just tell you <laughs> how the day went so you know what let me try to set this thing up so I don't have to hold the camera oops good grief okay Lord get a grip, get a grip. okay so <clears throat> alright so one, I did not do my hair today, so we doing the cat thing. <laughs> um, I just slept horribly last night, and, you know. Anyways, so. Last night, I had a bit of a snack attack situation, which been a couple of weeks since that happened um but i i logged them all in my tracker so i had three points worth of popcorn i made i popped popcorn in the microwave um i have you know one of those silicone poppers so i can just put the kernels in and i control salt and butter and um i use popcorn butter spray which is zero points. And so I have three points of that, which is uh, three tablespoons of the kernels is three points. 
Then my husband, we went to Costco's this weekend and my husband got that Chicago popcorn mix thing and um, had a little bit of that. I had about five points worth of that, which is like a cup. And <laughs> before I went to bed, I had some honey roasted peanuts and I had about a fourth a cup. It might have been under a fourth a cup, but I'm putting it as fourth of a cup, um, which is, I think, six points. So I ended my day on 34 points, um, and I have 28 for the day. Um, I do have weeklies left over, so I did dip into that. Um, so it still gives me a blue dot, um, but yeah. That was definitely more than I had wanted to have. So <laughs> hopefully today goes a little better than that. And I, and I was up late last night too. Um, I kind of re-injured my arm. Um, what was it? Our puppy got one of the girl's socks. And last night, <laughs> so my husband needed help chasing her because she thinks it's fun to run around and have you chase her. And so he couldn't get her, so he sometimes he needs help corralling her. And I went, I was able to reach her, and I almost had like her collar, and she tugged away from me. And then I just, I don't know, I reached for the collar with the injured arm, and she tugged real hard, um, breaking away, and I had to let go, and it really, it, it wrenched that shoulder again, which was in the process of healing. Um, it's not, it's not as bad as it was like when I initially first hurt my arm, but it definitely hurts a little more today than it did yesterday. So, um, yeah, so I had trouble sleeping and all of that. And so I had to get up and my husband actually took um, Deanna to the bus stop this morning but I had to get up to let the dog out when he left so I really didn't sleep in um so I'm just really tired <laughs> so I just finished breakfast and I had like two eggs and two pieces of toast and two slices of ham so that was two points so I know dinner's gonna be pretty point heavy so I'm gonna you know Actually, my lunch will be fine, and I could um, I, I pre-tracked my meals already for today, so it gives me plenty of wiggle room for snacks today if I decide to have snacks or whatever. Anyways, so I just wanted to end my video from yesterday. So I ended the day on 34 points. I mean, all in all, it was a pretty good day other than, you know, last night, but it was nowhere near as bad as those times when I'm really just up late and I'm just binging on stuff. Like, I'll, I will legit have a, a meal, uh, this, uh, that, you know, like I'll make a sandwich, I'll have chips, and then I'll go get some candy, and then I'll go get some popcorn, and, you know, so it's nothing like that. They were pretty controlled, um, the portions, not like excessive, excessive, um, although I had to make myself stop eating the Chicago mix popcorn, <laughs> but I mean, all in all, I've had worse nights, so I'm not going to beat myself up about last night. Um, and I still ended on a blue dot, so I'm not going to be mad at myself about that. I'm just going to let it, I'm going to let it ride. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed, uh, please like, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.